Hi everyone. Um, I hope, like me, you're happy this semester is almost over. I know that I am counting down the days till we're finished. Um, but for now, let's get into my presentation and see what my paper was about, what I've done for the last uh, semester in terms of research. Um, so my topic was based on screen time, particularly screen time in children. And when I say screen time, what I mean by that is the amount of time that students are spending in front of uh, digital technology, such as uh, their phones, laptops, computers, video games, television, that sort of thing. So how much time children are actually spending in front of these devices is screen time. And um, in doing my research, I found that there's both positives and negatives of this screen time. Um, and it's not, only a, it's not only limited to the United States, it's also a major issue all over the world. Um, several, several articles I found were published uh, in Western Australia, some were in Canada, some even came from Thailand. And it's, it's a prevalent problem that is becoming more and more sufficient um, all over the world as time progresses. Um, one study found that uh, some contributing factors to increase screen time in children is sleep deficiency, which can be a contributing factor to higher amounts of body mass index, um, so contributing to a sedentary lifestyle. Um, and then one, one study that I found particularly in, intriguing was a study that came out of Canada. Um, and it said that they took a group of students to a summer camp over the summer, and half the kids were split into two groups. Um, half of them went to summer camp where they limited uh, absolutely no technology at all. So it was all hands-on activities, recreational sports, that sort of thing. And then the other half of the group got to stay home and have a normal, vac a no a normal summer vacation um, where they were exposed to you know, technology, video games, all the other stuff that they needed or wanted to do. And at the end of the summer, they actually did a comparison between the two groups and they found that the, the ability to read human emotions and human expressions was actually higher in the group that uh, went to summer camp, which told the, told the researchers that um, the digital technology actually was a contributing factor to students losing that kind of face-to-face um, -face facial recognition. And it also led to them not being able to recognize human emotions such as anger, fear, um, happiness. They couldn't understand that because they were almost desensitized because of this technology. Um, and I personally found that very interesting. Um, some other research that I found said that um, out, of, out of Western Australia, 67% um, of children were more likely to have physical, physical and mental side effects if they spent more than two hours a day um, with a digital device. And if you remember, I did say at the beginning um, that there are some positive effects as well to screen time. And the research shown, showed that particularly in children who play video games, they found higher levels of problem solving, creativity, and then spatial and visual processing, um, which, which means that their hand-eye coordination was, was very high as compared to other children who did not play video games. Um, so this whole, you know, is technology good, is it bad, um, I can see it both ways. Um, one of my classes this semester was, was focused entirely on incorporating the technology in the classroom. Um, so we learned about um, smart boards and notebook and various apps in which you can integrate technology. We learned about virtual reality. Um, and so for me personally, I found that I was kind of on the fence about it. Um, yes, the research shows um, that there are positive and negatives, but at the same time, um, there's also a great benefit, particularly when it comes to um, the, edu the education field and the outreach that you can get. Um, you, can, you can affect a much wider range of students uh, by incorporating technology. And through this research, um, I found that people a lot of people were kind of on the fence about it. Um, there were both positives and negatives of it. Um, and then so, several things, there's actually several um, groups 
uh, all, all around the country, and for that matter, all over the world, that have research on how to combat um, digital technology um, in terms of like, you know, what can you do um, to help your child? And these groups suggest that you, um, first of all, you can model good behavior as a parent. Um, you can limit your screen time, and so therefore, like, the, the child will recognize that and see that. Um, you can do various alternatives such as reading, um, outdoor time, hands-on activities, um, basically just get kids out and doing stuff as opposed to being in front of a screen um, all the time. Um, and keep an eye on what they're doing online because I found that a lot of, a lot of studies shown that kids were spending far too much time being in front of a screen as opposed to interacting with human, with people. Um, and Despite the research and everything, me personally, um, as I said before, I am still kind of back and forth about it. Um, I myself use technology on a daily basis uh, for my job, and and I see you know other people doing it as well. Um, I do know from a personal experience because um, I've done some. I've actually started doing some substitute teaching this semester. Um, that the kids really are spending a tremendous amount of time. Um, on their cell phones using various apps such as uh, Tic Tac and Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, all that. And it, 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 really, it really made me associate um, with what I was researching because I was witnessing it firsthand. And so that for me was a contributing factor and I hope to um, pursue that even further. Um, next semester I'll be taking my capstone. Um, and, I, and I hope that um, I'll be able to pursue this research even further and use the material that I've already got um, as a stepping stone, or as a as a stepping stone to a, a much much more narrow um, study. Um, but overall, though, just for me personally, this this was a great semester, and I hope I didn't ramble too much. And I hope that y'all are at least as intrigued by this information as I am. I know that I was. Um, very interested to learn about it, and I'm really grateful to, to have the chance to learn about it. Um, other than that, guys, hope you all have a great break, and happy holidays, and bye.